fact that I can use the open house as an excuse to reach out to other owners in the, in the subdivision. This is what I believe. I'm sharing that with you for nothing. Just get out there and succeed. As far as open houses are concerned, I mean, what, what, for me, the object of an open house and like what I, you know, it's not the open house for me. It's the fact that I can use the open house as an excuse to reach out to other owners in the, in the subdivision, right. Um, and get to know other owners in the subdivision and try to become friends with them. Like the name of the game is how many friends can you create with property owners in the area? Um, whatever agent is the best at making friends with property owners in the market wins. You know, that's just the bottom line because, you know, people are going to choose the agent that they're friends with. I mean, you've heard that you've heard that before. You know, you're talking to property owners or buyers or sellers and you're like, hey, do you have an agent or whatever? Or maybe they bring it up and they're like, yeah, I have a friend in the business. Right. I have a friend agent. Um, you know, how did they become friends? Right. They, yeah. more than, they become they became friends because you know, they were his, they were that person's real estate agent at some point and they became friends, right? Or they met somewhere or whatever and became friends. So what you wanna do is create as many friendships as possible. So, I mean, open houses right now are kinda weird, okay? Cause you got COVID out there. Um, but you know, when, when all this is over with, yeah, we'll get back to doing open houses and you know, they're flourishing and stuff. I was never a big open house guy, to be honest with you. However, I would use it as an excuse to call all the property owners in that subdivision. I would just use it as an excuse. I'd say, hey, this is Ricky Cruz. How you doing? I'm enjoying the day. Isn't it gorgeous? You know, look, I don't want to take up too much of your time, but I'm doing an open house right down the road from you at whatever address or whatever on Saturday. You know, I was just calling to see if you might want to stop by or if there's anything else I could do for you. Right. If there's anything else I could do for you um, and just open up that conversation and use that as kind of the excuse to call them to kind of open up that conversation to see if there's a working relationship and somebody you can create a friendship with. That's how I would utilize open houses. So you can call the owners around the open house, you know, call like that subdivision, the next subdivision, like use it as a as an excuse to call many, many owners. Other things you can do and that that will hype the open house up right there. But when I did the few open houses that I did, I went to the property and I would do a, uh, I would do a, a video on my phone or a Facebook Live, one of the two. Um, I would get a video and it would, you know, me, you know, talking about the property, walking through the property, whatever. And, uh, you know, I would create that piece of content and then I would, I would boost it to the entire area. And I had so many people come to those open houses that were like, I saw that on Facebook or I saw it and I was like, cause I would ask them, you know, where did you, you know, how did you know about this? You know, and they would tell me they saw it on Facebook. So, I mean, that stuff works. If like three days out from your open house, you do this video and then you boost it for 20 bucks a day for three days until the open house or something. Um, it really works. People see it and they think, I'm gonna go check that place out because they watch the video and they're like, oh wow, that's a nice one. Um, you know, so that's one thing you can do. Um, you know, of course signage, you want signage everywhere, main roads, arrows, balloons, all that good stuff. Um, you know, and before COVID, before COVID, I would, I would suggest door knocking, canvassing the uh, area around the open house. Listen guys, the open house is just an excuse to try to meet other owners, okay? Like this whole open house for buyers thing is is played out. <laughs> it just, you know, that that's, you're chasing your tail, you know? Um, you're just going in circles. What we wanna do is we want to understand that property owners are our best buyers. They are the best buyers. They already know everything about ownership and how to buy and you don't have to educate them. They're on top of their game. They know how to buy it. You don't have to do anything. They know what they want. You just help them get it. With the first time home buyer, what do you have to do? You gotta drive them all around, educate them on home ownership, go through the process, do all this, do all that, you know, and they can be wishy-washy, they're scared, first time, don't know. With property owners, they are the best buyers.